What is up, everyone? This is E.B. Macintosh Tips uh, with MacintoshTips.com, uh, and this is part two of our ScreenFlow tutorial. Um, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to add call actions and also how to add media. Okay, so I've already uh, got several samples here on the side, and I've actually already made a demo video for you guys, so we can go ahead and play through that here. What's up, guys? This is E.B. Macintosh Tips, and this is just a quick demo video um, showing you guys how you can blow up the URLs. And okay. So as you see there in, in this video, I'm going to show you how to blow up a URL, which is a call to action. Okay. So in the last video, I showed you mainly the video properties, which is very simple and very easy. Most stuff on ScreenFlow is. Um, so what you want to do if you want to make a call to action, you can go over here to this little mouse button here, and I'm actually doing a call to action now on this video. And you'll see a little bubble, and you'll go down here to your screen, screen recording, and you're going to take the cursor to where you want your actual like call to action to start and end. Hit Add Call to Action. And once you get this nice little yellow um, action here, it, you can see you should get a nice bubble. Now, you, after you get this bubble, there's several different, uh, pro, uh, I guess, little things you can do um, to um, kind of customize it to how you want it to look. So I can either do a foreground window, and I'll show you that's in the window, in a window in a minute, uh, or a mouse cursor, and I can I can uh, make the background light or dark with the Opacity. I can blur the background. As you see, that kind of blurs the background there. Um, and also, I can add a um, outline. So I make that to two two pixels. That's pretty nice. A little blue outline around it. So you guys can see that. So this is a pr pretty important part. But this is your most important part down here with the zoom. I can zoom in, and also I can border this very large. So that looks pretty good right there. Let me zoom out just a bit. All right. And now I can either feather it, or even round the edges more. Okay. Of course, you can mess with these guys uh, down here uh, more, of course, to your personal preference. Now, if I go back and play this part, as you see when it goes with the call out action, I get a nice pop out showing the URL. How you can blow up the URLs and text using call out actions on ScreenFlow. Also, so guys, it's that easy, okay? Uh, you can move this up and down here. Uh, so I'm going to move it down here when I'm talking about, um, talking about the join today on Twitter. You can just move it right down here, and it'll pop up right there. It's this easy, guys. If you join today, and also follow us on Twitter. So it's that easy, guys. Some great content posted on Twitter. Okay, so it's, like I said earlier, that's that easy. Okay, if you like to shorten or lengthen this clip, you just drag with the two arrows on the side. Under call out actions, you also find um, a way where you can call out a foreground window, like I talked to you earlier. And all you want to do is you, you will select your background here, and then go up here and add a call out action. And then you can do your mouse cursor like I showed earlier, or you can do your foreground window, which will be your finder window in this case. So if you have layers and on top of layers uh, on, on your uh, screen recording while you're doing a tutorial or whatever, um, then you can also pop these up. And you can also um, have the option of doing opacity, opacity, blurring the background, and of course, adding a border. So guys, that's uh, call out actions. The next thing I'm going to talk about is how to add media to your ScreenFlow um, tutorials or ScreenFlow videos. Uh, of course, make sure you, sh make sure you save your changes, changes here. And of course, once, once they're saved, you can also go back and access them at any time. This little media button here is it will be where you're going to add most of your media. There's two ways to do this. You can either go to add media or add recording. So I've got this, I've got a recording uh, I'm going to add in here so I can just, it has to be a uh, ScreenFlow recording. Um, or I can add a media, and I've got this thing on my desktop, for example, music. I'm going to open that up. All you do is drag it in, and here you have a nice background music. Of course, you can control the audio up through here, up and down. Okay? Or of course, mute the audio. So, guys, it's that easy. Um, other examples that I've got, I got frequently asked questions is uh, putting your face in a border like this and you just add a picture in the background like this picture right here and then you just add um, your face into that picture. Uh, other things you can put yourself on. Um, YouTube pages. Hey, Fred. That, that was weird. Okay, so you can have, put yourself on YouTube pages. Uh, you can put yourself self on a uh, portrait, stuff like that. So have fun with your eyesight, guys. And uh, more to come. This is just part two. So you guys just click my face for the uh, part part uh, three and uh, uh, for the part one. Okay. So put your cursor over. Pick, pick part one or part three. Of course, guys. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for joining us. Um, thank you for all the support we've, we've got in Macintosh Tips on YouTube and of course our website. 
Uh, follow us on Twitter with this bad boy here, and I'll uh, catch you guys later. Peace.